is their part to delay things that worries me. What we need next week is approval at the committee stage for plans and estimates to be submitted to the ministry. We have Huggins and Beale on our side. Mrs. Beddoes doesn't seem to mind one way or the other, but she could vote with Carr. But the others... Well, the others we must tempt with something extra. Which is really the reason I called to see you. I've been in London this week. I had some business of my own to attend with the Board of Trade, but I took the opportunity of dining with an acquaintance of mine who's an undersecretary at the Ministry of Transport. Well, nothing that might be construed as an official approach or going over the heads of the council, you understand, simply a conversation, matters of mutual interest between friends. But I was given to understand that on the receipt of suitable plans and reasonable estimates, the Ministry will be prepared to find up to 60% of the total cost of the new road. Busy. They don't stop. I used to do that myself once, but I think I've forgotten how. Oh, it's easy enough if you're used to it. Oh, is that your new baby brother? Yes, don't disturb him, miss. I've only just got him off to sleep. Um, what's he called? Edward. Oh. Is that after anyone in particular? Prince of Wales. Oh, yes, of course. What I really called about, Lydia, was your coming to tea one day. I did promise to invite you. Oh, that's all right, miss. No, it's not all right. I like to keep my promises. But there is a very good reason why I can't keep this one, because many of the girls are down with measles and what we school during the day and looking after them at night, well, it isn't just the time for tea parties. So I can't invite you for a while yet, but I will, as soon as possible. That really is a most elusive puncture, isn't it? <clears throat> Excuse me, but could you tell me where Mrs. Mitchell lives, please? Bella Vista over there. Oh, thanks very much. Oh, there she is, Bella. What a lovely little girl, hey? A lovely girl, See? huh? Yes. <clears throat> Months. I thought it were time I came to see how you were getting on. Not a minute too soon. There. I mean, there's a tricky bit to do now. Oh, I'll do that when it's done properly. Are you doing any reading, Lydia? Not much, miss. Well, try to keep up. You know that we're holding your scholarship open for you, and it may not be too long before we find a way of getting you back to school. Your class is reading Browning. Now, if I could get a book of his poems to you, do you think you could read them? I'll try to find the time, miss. Don't lose faith in us, Lydia. We really are doing everything we possibly can. And above all, don't give up hope. Well, I'll um, be in touch with you about you coming to visit me for tea. Goodbye, Lydia. Goodbye, Miss Burton. What's that in the motor car, Lid? Miss Burton from school. What does she want? Oh, not special. Promises. I thought conductor had put me off at wrong place. I want Bella Vista, Maythorpe Road, I told him. 
Oh, that'll be shucks, he said, laughing like a drain. And well, he might. The shucks, indeed. <laughs> Even that's putting it on shanty town, more like. I've always brought you up to us pride. This is poverty, Nancy. Hey, if you'd only listen to your father and me. No, it's somebody else, you mean. Fred had a good job. It's not his fault nobody can afford insurance. It's anymore. his fault he's set on dragging you down. I'm his him. wife. And my... my daughter. How do you think I feel? Finding you living like this after what you've always been used to. There's a comfortable home waiting for you and Peggy. You can live with us while Fred gets back We've on his feet. We've been all through that before. I mother. will keep going through it until you can learn some sense. If you won't consider yourself, you might at least spare a thought for your little lass. You wanted to grow up like that young slut out there? Woody is nice enough. Oh, she looks it, I must say. Bursting out of her frock, showing her legs up to her She's backside. She's got a lot to put up with. And why isn't she at school anyway? Because her mother died, that's why. She has to stay at home to look after brothers and sisters. Ah. And if she'd been brought up different, in a different place, she might not have had too much, she. Dirt and breeding, they go together. It'll be your turn next. What, what do you mean, my turn? <laughs> I suppose your husband's like most men. There'll be times when he wants his pleasure and to hell with the consequences. If you think your friend is like that Mr Holly out there, then you're mistaken. He's not. He's very considerate. We are husband and wife and we live together. Exactly, and that's how these things oh, happen. You... <laughs> I don't know why you bothered to come here, Mother. I really do. You just make everything so rotten and sore, isn't it? <laughs> it's not like that, is Oh, come on, It's now. not like that. Don't take on so... I'll make us a cup of tea. Where to keep it's everything? Right, mother, I'll do it. <laughs> There's a beautiful little girl there. Who's a funny little girl? Your grandma's come to see you. And look what grandma's got for you. Look. Oh, she's a lovely little lass. There we are then. Match your bonny blue eyes, won't it? Look at that then. And when are you come to see your grandma? You don't like it here, do you? There's a good girl. What you got there then? What you got there, you hungry? There's a lovely little lass then. <laughs> How are you feeling, Gertie? I'm not so bad. Do you want to come to Kipton to without any of me? What for? What for? What for? Do you want to come or don't you? I suppose so. Well, come on then, get Alani's push chair and put your shoes on. with me. Will it be all right, Mrs. Mitchell? Oh, all right, I suppose so. Oh, thanks ever so much. Uh, there's a bottle on the table if he wakes up. Can I run any errands for you? No, thank you. I've got everything I need. I'll see you later, then. Oh, Lenny, oh, Daisy, oh, Gertie, how many of her are there, for goodness sake? Eight with the baby. Eight saints in heaven, eight, no mother. 